anglers, hunters, and outdoor enthusiasts, and there are a lot of them here in Oklahoma, as we are, uh, you need to listen to this. As we turn the calendar to 2024, the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation has some things in the works they want you to know as outdoor season approaches. News 4's Austin Brissett has details new at 6. Streamlining licensing for both hunting and fishing, as well as keeping an eye on non-resident deer hunting and management, are just a couple of the things on the outdoor Oklahoma radar for the Department of Wildlife Conservation with the legislative session right around the corner. Yeah, this is this is a, a, a great time of year. Christmas has passed, but Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation spokesperson Michael Holmes says they still have something on their wish list for the legislative session, especially when it comes to hunting and fishing licenses. We're looking to streamline those because it can be intimidating for a new hunter or angler to try to figure out what license they need, when they need it, um, how long it's good for. Two full pages listing 100 different licenses is intimidating. The agency would love to see the creation of a youth super license for Oklahomans under 18. Good for everything from hunting to fishing for an entire season. And we want to make it as, as economical as possible, especially if a family's got three or four kids. The agency is also leaning into a phrase you may have heard. Hunters in the know take a doe. It keeps that population really, really stable. Other 2024 goals include leasing more land in southeast Oklahoma from timber companies to expand hunting and fishing and better understanding the economic impact of Oklahoma's two year-round trout fisheries in the Lower Mountain Fork and Illinois. Holmes adding they're also seeking some input for the future of Oklahoma outdoor activity. I, I would encourage folks to uh, let us know what they're seeing out there. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Austin, thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with the Wildlife Department, we have a link to the numbers for several game wardens and officials. It's on our website, KFOR.com. We'll see how this turns out after the legislative session, what all the changes may be made there for those of us who indulge in those kind of things.